Shalom, shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Bakakadash. Um, you know, I was just watching these the news, and um, I just want to make a quick, quick. It's gonna be a quick one. <coughs> and um, <sighs> boy, 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 evil E. There's a reason. There's a reason why you're gonna go into hardcore slavery. There's a reason why Yahweh Bashem Yahshua say he hates you daily. There's a reason why the Heavenly Father Yahweh Bashem Yahshua said he hates the wicked daily. Every day he hates the wicked. There's a reason why Yahweh Bashem Yahshua they shall not go unpunished, but they shall surely drink of the cup. There's a reason why it says for three transgression of Edom. There's a reason why it says, because thou love blood, now blood shall pursue thee. There's a reason why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh said, I love Jacob, but I hated Esau. There's a reason behind this. There's a reason. Once holy childhood of Jesus boarding school in Harbor Springs, painful memories come flooding back. Everything that was Native American, they tried to destroy. Yvonne was one of thousands of Native American kids, many of them Odawa children, sent to this Catholic boarding school between 1829 and 1983. Students couldn't speak their language or hold on to their traditions. Every time they beat me up, it got harder and harder to learn. She would take my, grab me by my hair and use me for an eraser. Drag me back and forth across the button. Said that Esau, the teacher, will grab her hair for an eraser, drag her from her desk, and slide her back, man. You know? In the 19th and 20th centuries, the United States funded more than 350 boarding schools with the goal of assimilating and separating the tribes. Holy Childhood was one of the longest running. It's always been about separating the tribes. Students often describe themselves as survivors of physical and even sexual abuse. Then, a terrifying discovery. More than a thousand bodies found in mass graves at similar schools in Canada. Of course, number 3533 said, for the blood that should pollute the land. You gotta pay, man. Blood should pursue thee. They found thousands of indigenous Native American children vanished in Canada. You know what I mean? Hundreds more unmarked graves found at former residential school in Canada. These were Native American, Jake, Israelites that were being murdered and killed here in Babylon the Great. Oh, easy E. Oh, like my, the brother said in North Carolina, sleazy, easy E, man. You got something coming for you. In June, the US government announced a national investigation. Eric Hemingway is the archivist for the Little Traverse Bay Bands of Odawa Indians. He has been uncovering school records and artifacts for decades. This one. A four-year-old. Four-year-old. To what extent do you think the federal government was successful in its mission? It was successful in that many of us don't speak our native language. But in a sense, they're not successful because I'm striving to learn that. Those elements of us as a mission Bay are still out there. The language, the customs, the traditions. Holy Childhood has not responded to requests for comment. Fred Kiyogma is Marine Corps veteran. Now listen to what this this when he what he went through, what Esau Edom made him do to, to this brother, this guy. And he says memories from holy childhood still haunt him. Getting locked in a freezing closet, the racist remarks. A nun once forced him to eat vomit in front of his brother. He was forced. He looked like he was five, six years old. He was forced to eat vomit in front of his brother. And then he was locked in a freezer. Esau, Edom, the evil things you have done to the children of Israel. Man, the evil things you have done to the tribes. All praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. That's why we want Yahweh, Shai to come back. That was 57 years ago. And I can remember the expressions, his tone, and how small I felt. 
Survivors say the first step of healing is acknowledgement. What do you think we're going to find out in this investigation, the federal investigation? I would hope that they find the truth, but you gotta admit that it happened. And that's what I think people are so afraid of because it tarnishes them. It tarnishes their religion, it tarnishes their town, their school or whatever, but it shouldn't be that way. Antonia Hilton, NBC News, Harbor Springs, Michigan.